What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the WBO World Boxing Organization, reigning welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world. Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford, 38 wins, no losses, no draws, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He is 34 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 74 inch arm reach. With that said, Terrence Crawford is looking to solidify all the big fights he's been seeking out in the welterweight division. And one of those fights was initially his number one objective was to secure a fight against former, now former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith One Tom Thurman, who was going on hiatuses, who his career was unsure what's going to happen. Initially, at one point in time, Keith Thurman was the man to beat at the welterweight division. He was viewed as the best welterweight in the world. Okay. Uh, Keith Thurman, he defeated two division world champion Puerto Rican superstar boxer Danny Swift Garcia in March of 2017. Prior to that, he beat two time welterweight world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter. Keith Thurman has seemed to be well on his way to solidify himself as the best welterweight of his era. But Keith Thurman, after the fight with Danny Garcia, he went on a two year hiatus where Keith Thurman didn't step back in the ring after that March 2017 showdown with Danny Garcia until January of 2019, two years, against Josito Lopez. And this is when seemingly the Keith Thurman hype train and wheels started to come loose. He fought Josito Lopez and he looked very vulnerable. Looked like he was on the verge of being stopped. Although he dropped Josito Lopez in the fight, Keith Thurman obviously is the better skill boxer uh, Keith Thurman has a high ring IQ. You know, Keith Thurman had all the athletic attribute advantages over Josito Lopez. And he was dominating the fight, but he just showing vulnerabilities. And so, even though he dropped Josito Lopez, looked like he was going to dominate him, he started to show those vulnerabilities where he looked like he himself was going to get stopped in the fight. Well, he managed to weather the storm and get a decision victory over Josito Lopez. Then, July of 2019, the big fight for Keith Thurman arose against legendary 8th Division World Champion iconic Filipino superstar boxer Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Now, this is a fight Keith Thurman of two guys he'd been trying to seek out the era that was ending as he was making his uh, rise in the sport of boxing, which was legendary retired Hall of Fame iconic Superstar, five division world champion, pound for pound king, Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao were exiting the sport. And Keith Thurman, he was trying to secure a fight with both those guys and definitely one of them to secure and legitimize his legacy. Well, he was unable to get Floyd Mayweather, but he was able to get Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao, he dropped Keith Thurman in the first round. Then he badly hurt Keith Thurman in the 10th round. Looked like Keith Thurman again was on the verge of being stopped. But he weathered the storm again. But this time he didn't get the nod. Keith Thurman it ended in a majority decision victory in favor of Manny Pacquiao. But he got to step in the ring with an icon and a legend and a surefire Hall of Famer. But he came up short. Then Keith Thurman once again, he went on a two-year hiatus. This time, two-and-a-half-year hiatus from that July 2019 showdown to all the way till February today, February 5th of 2022 against former WBA regular junior welterweight world champion Mexican star boxer Mario Barrios who was making his debut in the welterweight division. And once again, Keith Thurman, he has all the advantages. He has the high ring IQ. He has the skill advantage. He has the power advantage. He even has the size advantage. Now, he don't have the height. Mario Barrios at 5'10", Keith Thurman at 5'7". Mario Barrios with a 71-inch arm reach. Keith 
Keith Thurman is 769 inch arm reach. But Keith Thurman is physically the bigger guy. So he had the advantage in power, foot speed, athletic ability. And Keith Thurman, he started the fight off as he normally does, dominating the fight. Hitting Mario Barrios with big punches. Looked like he could stop Mario Barrios at any given point. But once again, in the second half of the fight, just like he did in the Sean Porter fight, just like he did in the Danny Garcia fight, just like he did in the Josito Lopez fight, and just like he did in the Manny Pacquiao fight, Keith Thurman, he started to show wear and tear and fading. And once again, Josito Lopez goes to Keith Thurman's body, which we know is a glaring weakness, and Keith Thurman shows a huge, huge hole that needs to be filled when you go to his body, and he takes out his mouthpiece as he did against Manny Pacquiao. He maneuvers around the ring to survive to the bell rings. Mario Barrios should not be competing against Keith Thurman. Mario Barrios is coming off of a brutal knockout loss to a guy who was competing at featherweight, 130 pounds, that jumped up 10 pounds to 140 to challenge Mario Barrios, who's not the biggest guy in the world, and three-division undefeated world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who is now 26 wins, no loss, no draws, 24 big wins by way of knockout, 27 years of age, but he's five foot five with a 67-inch arm reach, and he campaigned at 130 before he jumped up 10 pounds to see him drop Mario Barrios three times and ultimately stop him in the 11th round. And here you have Keith Thurman fighting a full seven pounds above Mario Barrios, a much bigger guy with a high ring IQ, a skill advantage, an athletic advantage, and a power advantage, and naturally a bigger guy. And he didn't drop Mario Barrios. He hurt Mario Barrios a few times, never dropped him, never was able to close the show, and he himself was hurt badly twice going to the body for Mario Barrios. Javante Tank Davis was never in that position. He never was hurt. He was getting out boxed. It took him a while to get started, but he was never physically hurt against Mario Barrios. So with that said, the fight that the fans are starting to call for is Keith Thurman versus Terrence Crawford in July. Keith Thurman, he raised his hand after Terrence Crawford beat a former foe and a common opponent in Showtime Sean Porter November 20th when he stopped Sean Porter, dropped him twice in the 10th round and ultimately caused Sean Porter's father, trainer, and manager, Kenny Porter, to wave the white towel saying he saw enough. Keith Thurman, he said it wasn't the best, the greatest performance on the part of Terrence Crawford. It was a good closing performance by Terrence Crawford but he saw a lot of vulnerabilities in Terrence Crawford and Terrence Crawford is not the boogeyman and to give him eight months and he'll gladly accept a fight with Terrence Crawford. Now this was in November. So you factor in December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. That's on par with what Keith Thurman's schedule has been coming off these hiatuses. After the Danny Garcia fight, he fought in January, then he fought in July. He's fighting in the beginning of February. He's looked to fighting again in July with Terrence Crawford. So Team Crawford, they respond on the part of Terrence Crawford and say that Terrence Crawford has all plans to make a statement out of Keith Thurman in July should Keith Thurman accept the fight. Now, Keith Thurman post-fight interview, he stated that Terrence Crawford just has to send a contract and he'll make the fight happen. Keith Thurman obviously is confident in his abilities and now he's saying he's one time not because of his knockout power but he's one time because he's only going to lose once that's the last time he's going to lose in his career but again the vulnerabilities that Keith Thurman has shown tonight the vulnerabilities that he's shown over his past four fights warrants you to believe that Keith Thurman could be in big trouble against a Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is going to enjoy a six, five to six inch arm reach advantage, a one inch height advantage, 
Terrence Crawford has knocked out his last nine opponents. Terrence Crawford has the ability to switch from southpaw to orthodox. He's just as athletic as Keith Thurman. He's just as quick as Keith Thurman. And he has more power than Keith Thurman. Terrence Crawford is accurate with his punches. He has just as high, if not a higher ring IQ than Keith Thurman. And Keith Thurman, when he's in trouble, will not be able to maneuver his way out of the trouble, utilizing his athletic abilities, maneuvering around the ring to avoid his opponent. That won't be the case when you're dealing with Terrence Crawford. When he did it against Manny Pacquiao, who's five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach and was 42 years of age, uh, 40 years of age was a completely different story. When he did it against Josito Lopez and Mario Barrios tonight, he has an a athletic ability that they don't have. He's just quicker on his feet than they are. So he can maneuver and avoid them and stay away for the rest of the duration of the round. He will not be able to do that with Terrence Crawford, who has longer arms than Mario Barrios, Josito Lopez, Manny Pacquiao. So that means that Terrence Crawford can touch Keith Thurman from a distance. He's not being used to getting hit. And Terrence Crawford has just as quick feet and athletic ability as Keith Thurman. And Terrence Crawford, there's no angle that puts Terrence Crawford where he's not comfortable or can't display his power because he's able to switch from southpaw to orthodox comfortably. And so with that said, I do believe that Terrence Crawford would dominate Keith Thurman and stop Keith Thurman. So they stated after witnessing this fight, they believe that Terrence Crawford is going to jump at the opportunity to fight Keith Thurman and make a statement if the fight presents itself, if Keith Thurman makes the fight. Now, Keith Thurman, he stated after the fight, which we know the World Boxing Council, better known as the WBC, decided to raise their hand and make this a title eliminator. But Keith Thurman, he's won the title in 2017, five years ago against Danny Garcia, but he never defended the title. And Mario Barrios, he held the WBA. Again, he never held the WBC, and he never defended it. So why is the WBC making this a title eliminator is beyond me. So with that said, Keith Thurman is looking to make himself the mandatory. Errol Spence, he already responded, and he said, Keith Thurman style is tailor-made for him, okay? Uh, Errol Spence is a guy that loves to go to the body, relentless body uh, pressure attack, and very strong, very big, 5'9", with a 72-inch arm reach again. He's just as athletic and strong as Keith Thurman with a high ring IQ, southpaw, whose focus is the body, which is Keith Thurman's weakness. And he has a sturdy chin. So Errol Spence said Keith Thurman is tailor-made for him. And I think Keith Thurman is also tailor-made for Terrence Crawford. Keith Thurman, he didn't seem very quick. He didn't seem very athletic as he normally is. He seemed very muscular, very big. And uh, maybe for the time and the long layoffs is starting to get catch up to Keith Thurman. But Terrence Crawford and his team are saying that they're going to stop Keith Thurman given the opportunity in July. And I have to believe that after what I have witnessed over the last past couple of years with Keith Thurman. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like your shady videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.